do this shit until they murder me. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And a little bit of an update. Motor is in the car again. I was gonna record it, but it's pretty straightforward, you guys. If you've done any work in an MR2, you know just how it goes. Here is the piece that I was talking about for the transmission. Here is how it's straight. You see how it lines up just right on the transmission. You gotta take that piece out. And here is that spacer that comes with the kit. And it allows you to use the stock rear motor mount bracket. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. A with A, B with B, C with C. You know how it goes. Let me show you some of the other side. This is how this goes here. E, C, all that stuff there. Good stuff. So I got this wire, I got this neck on. I had it on before but it was actually leaking down here because there's some EGR ports here. So aside from, uh, this actually only comes with two O-rings. So there's an O-ring here and an O-ring here for the water jackets, but it doesn't have any, any provisions for the EGR stuff. So if you get this piece from K-Tuned and you have uh, EGR ports here, like mine did, you gotta, I, I had to seal it up. So I just put a whole bunch of Honda Bond around the two, the two uh, exits here. So just, just a word of advice because there was a lot of soot down here at the bottom and I didn't know where it was coming from until I took this off so just uh, FYI if you get this neck for the K24 you're gonna have to add uh, a little bit more silicone to the bottom of it to get it to seal so here's an overview of how much space is in it intake manifold is I'll show you guys the intake manifold in a little bit but uh, yeah there you go let me show you something that I'm working on for the alternator so this is the piece that comes with the water plate with a K2 and water plate. Okay. I had to modify it in order to get it to line up right. It was sitting a little lower. I'm using a D series uh, alternator. <clears throat> but as you can see right there, that's where that piece mounts to. Okay. So in order, in order to get that to fit right, I got to do this. So. Hold on, let me show you guys here. Push this back. Okay, doesn't want to stay back. All right, whatever. Anyway, so you got to push this back as far as it goes to get enough tension on that and then create a bracket that goes from here to this hole here. So I'm just going to use maybe some hind joints um, to get it nice and sturdy and maybe create a custom... Uh, a custom bracket here to bolt it to so I can get it to line up correctly. Now the older version of this water plate actually comes with a turnstile like I guess turnbuckle slash hind joint adjustment which I actually bought but uh, K-Tune sent me out the new one anyway so I'm gonna have to make do. And I found out that my fuel lines will actually work. I just got to shorten this one. This is the uh, fuel feed. I'm gonna redo this one here because uh Trying to take it off. I was already in the process of taking this off. So I'm going to shorten it up. This is my fuel return. This will actually work. I don't have to modify it at all. Just using 6AN feeds. And I'm in the process of uh, putting the uh, Davies Craig electric water pump back on. As you can see, it was leaking from this feeding here. So I applied a lot, um, well, a bit more, I guess a lot more of the Teflon tape. Uh, let's see. So my intake manifold came in. I wanted to get a uh, RBC, but I ended up getting this off of eBay. Now I had, I thought this was an RBC copy, but uh, in speaking to some of the uh, other Honda guys, this is apparently a Skunk 2 copy. So I lucked out, and I also lucked out with the fact that I don't need a spacer for my throttle body. My stock throttle body fits. So since I won't be running the uh, stock or the Honda uh the small map sensors here because uh, apparently those things if you blow them the wrong way they they blow out and they you, if you wiring them you wiring or wire them in wrong they blow out too so i'm gonna i'm going with a uh with a gm unit gm three bar this is a legit unit this is not a knockoff i made sure of that but i'm going to be using this instead of the, the the little small ones that the honda uses 
So I got rid of the uh, IACV valve back here, just created a plate, uh, left the uh, stock gasket intact and just uh, Honda bonded all around the edge. It's sealed pretty tight. I tested it for leaks, nothing really coming out of it. Um, I'm probably gonna be using these for like boost references actually. And this is how I really, that's how I plug that up. My fuel rail fits, my injectors fit, everything else is pretty good. The only thing I have to do to make the, to modify this to get it to work is this is this part's really close to the water neck so i marked where i'm going to grind that out just a little bit maybe i don't know maybe a quarter inch just to get the hose uh, to slip on and that's about it i also modified this sensor up top just so i don't have to look at that ugly thing i'll probably just get my fabricator to weld that up and fill this in but for now i just kind of made this so it doesn't so it doesn't pop up Picked up also, well, I finally got it in from uh, Eric Hux. This is the engine lid support. I took it apart because I, you know, I just, I like, I like seeing and figuring out how stuff works. So just wanted to give you guys a look at the individual pieces. This stuff is pretty, pretty well made. These are, these two pieces are aluminum, or these two pieces are steel. And this piece here is aluminum. And everything else is st stainless hardware with some uh, nylon nux, nux. And this is my, I finally got this in. 60 millimeter wastegate that I'll be that I'll be using on the turbo elements uh, manifold so Hopefully it works well. I've used these wastegates before without an issue. So it shouldn't be a problem Got a nice single 40 44 millimeter wastegate dump tube It's nice this stuff wasn't all that expensive, but uh, like I said, I've had good luck with that stuff before so I'm giving them another shot but uh, other than that, guys, there's really not much else to tell. I wanted to cover the wiring here that I got from Eric Hux, but I'm gonna just gonna I'm just gonna do this in a separate video. There is a lot to go over, especially if you're with a Cannibal kit uh, and you need your harnesses blended, or if you're planning to do it by yourself and then just get rid of all the unnecessary wiring. It's it's uh it's pretty it's pretty intense, but uh, it's not that hard. Um, I mean, like I said, if you want to pay wire gap or Hux to do it, it's, you know, it's out of your hands and just let them, let it be their headache. But, uh, other than that, guys, that's all that is for, for now. Um, like I said, if you ever have any questions about the car or the swap, please hit me up. Uh, anything, anything you got going on, please let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm here to answer any questions. I've been doing that a lot for you guys on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, just use me as a resource because I've been reading and reading and reading a lot and i put all this into practice so if you have any issues questions concerns whatever give me a shout all right guys catch you on the next one